Hi, my name is Steve Cordero from Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. How do AIP deployments work with Adobe Acrobat 10? AIP stands for Administrative Installation Point. Simply put, it's creating an all-in-one installation package utilizing single or multiple updates so that there's one installation that occurs. In Adobe Acrobat 10, Adobe made the process a bit different. Depending upon the update, the AIP process by comparison to Acrobat 9 can be less complicated because some of the updates are all-in-one updates. That means, in some instances, the previous updates are included with the newest update, making the need for chaining the updates back-to-back -back unnecessary in certain cases. In this demonstration, we will build an Adobe Acrobat 10.1.1 administrative installation point. Let's get started. First step is, copy of the media setup files from the DVD to a location on your hard drive. And here we are. From the DVD to the installation files we're going to copy. And I've created a folder called flat files. And here we go. We're going to copy them in. OK, done copying. The next step is to open up the command prompt and navigate to the folder location. for the flat files. Once we're at the location for the flat files, we run the, the administrative install command from here, which is msi exec.exe space forward slash a, and then the name of the msi file. In this case, it's Acro pro dot MSI and then hit enter. And here we have the installation screen for the administrative installation point. Next. Now it's asking us for a network location. You can actually put it on a local area, which is what we're going to do here, but you can also put it on a shared drive. And we're putting the administrative installation point into a folder I pre-created called 10.0.0. And now let's install. And setup is complete. OK. So we've got the first part done, and let's show you what that all looks like. So let's go back to the 10.0.0 folder. And here we have the expanded version of the installer with all the reciprocal folders and locations to where the installation files go for Adobe Acrobat Pro. But we're only half done. Now, Let's copy this folder and paste it back in, same location. And we'll need to rename this folder as soon as it's done copying. Okay, we're done to copying. Let's rename that folder. to 10.1.1. And now we're going to drop in the update file. Next step is to run that update with the administrative installation back into its folder. Let's do that. First, we need to navigate to the 10.1.1 folder. Okay. 
And just like we did before, here's the command msi exec.exe space forward slash a acropro dot msi and now we apply the patch forward slash p and the name of the update. and enter. In here you'll notice that we have Acrobat Pro 10.1.1 and this is the administrative install setup and we're patching the AIP that we created for 10.0.0. .0 .0. Next you'll note that the location has already been selected and it is actually the new folder that we copied and created and we're going to leave that location there because that's what we're actually patching. And setup is complete. And now we have a patched version of the installer and this is your administrative installation point for 10.1.1. If you'd like, and you've already customized a transform file, you can add that transform file and then run the installation from the command line. That ends this session. And don't forget to get the IT newsletter at www.tipsandtricksforit.com.